Harry Potter books burned by Polish priests alarmed by magic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Catholic priests in northern Poland have burned books they consider to be sacrilegious, including ones from the Harry Potter Boy Wizard series. The pictures of the burning books were published on Facebook with a post that says, We obey the word. Another passage from Deuteronomy says, Burn the image of their gods. Don't desire the silver or gold that is on them and take it for yourself. You will be trapped by it. That is detestable to the Lord, your God. I mean, this is great. This is, I mean, they're embarrassing themselves so much. It's like they're doing our job for us. Like, we just. It's hilarious. We just. <laughs> I mean, what the, like, they're just. It's good that they come just embarrass Christianity. Like, how. Do these people actually think, like. Ma like, her, magic is, like, real, right? Do they actually, like, these priests. Where's the picture of the priests? I, wanna, I wish we had the picture right now. But. These priests, um, I saw the picture of them burning the books. Do they actually think like there's actual wizards and stuff like going around somewhere in the world? Like they think you know, actually I, people I think flying that, on brooms? Huh. Yeah, I think they're mostly scared of children um, occupying their time with those kind of ideas. Uh, because magic, especially like w when I was growing up, magic was of the devil. So anything that pertained to magic or wizardry was definitely seen as something that was an attack on Christianity. Um, so I think what they're trying to do is they're just trying to show children that uh, the Lord will be happy if you keep these things out of your life. And I think that's just insane. Right. Right, but for them to believe that, they also have to believe that there's actual witches and wizards out there. Right. That this might convince their kids to actually become witches or wizards. No? That's actually, they, that has to be part of their calculation. Or else I mean, it kind of has to be, I think, <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're burning okay. it. Yeah, okay. Um, Brian is saying, suppose if you believe the Bible is real, then you're going to believe Harry Potter is too. Yeah, I mean, actually, you know, these the, the, these people that are so scared of their kids reading Harry Potter, I mean, they have read their own books, right? Like, I don't, I still think that at some point it should be a crime to teach, to, to let people, like, you know how we have R ratings for movies and video games? Why is the Bible don't get, that? the Bible should get that. I mean, that's based on what, the, what is written in there. Right, absolutely. So, uh, Subham is saying that he has a friend in Texas, um, Arizona, whose parents don't allow him to watch or read Harry Potter. Me too. So um, <laughs> I grew up in Texas, Subham, um, and my parents also forbid uh, us to read Harry Potter. I've read all the Harry Potter books since becoming an adult, and I've also read the Bible several times when I was a kid. And Harry Potter had nothing in it, like, you know, a man being drugged and raped by his two daughters so they could get pregnant, um, or any of those other crazy stories that are in the Bible when I was young. So my parents were yeah, totally fine. Yeah, collecting 200 foreskins so that you can marry the king's daughter. Right. And that's fine. That stuff's great. But, you know, a, a boy going off to wizard school, that was just not okay. Right. Figure. Okay. Um, I, you know, one thing that I think they, they are not considering that actually uh, fantasy uh, might be harmful to religion is because it's just better fantasy. Right. You know, it's just more interesting stories. So maybe they think they're thinking that this is a threat to their religion because ooh, witches and wizards. But it is a threat to their religion because once you read Harry Potter, the Bible just seems so fucking boring, right? I mean, yeah. it's, it's it, actually actually I, I have to correct myself. The Bible is interesting if you study it in a like a detective, you know, trying to figure out where every verse came from in history that is pretty cool actually okay because that's not the sto the stories in the bible are not interesting not that interesting but the stories about the bible i find that very interesting the stories about how the bible came to be and what does that say about the people at that time that is so interesting but the bible it's itself is not very interesting um let me see so far i'm saying i read oh you already read that I read Harry Potter, borrowing them from the library in my Catholic school. Okay, cool. Um, Bobby is saying, fun fact, the priest uh, bought the books. The author still got paid. Um, oh, wait, did he? 
Okay, actually, I mean, to be f one another person said that they actually got charged um, for, for. Is this illegal what he did? It's not. It's his own books, right? I think Beach um, was mentioning that he got a minor charge for something, maybe like public fi public uh, having fire outside or something. But I think he should be able to burn this book. A lot of people compare burning this kind of book burning with the Nazis book burning. I don't think that is at all the same because this is if you purchase this book, then it's your own fucking property. You could do whatever you want with it, right? When the Nazis were doing, they were burning other people's books. It wasn't the, the Nazis didn't go and buy books and then burn them, right? They burned, they right. were burning other people's property. They were destroying other people's property. It's not at all the same. I mean, I think if he's buying these books and burning them, that's, that should be completely legal. Uh, it, it's idiotic, uh, but I mean, it's great for us. It's embarrassing Christianity and it's also supporting the author. Not that this author needs any more support, though. Anyways, should we go to the... Oh, yeah, BJ saying it was something like public safety or pollution, something minor. Uh, yeah, it was, so he, apparently the priest got some fine for public, like having fire outside in public place. That's, that, was not, that was not cool. If you want to burn your... If you want to buy books and burn it, do it in a safe... You know, have some safety measures. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.